Welcome to a show me when we're going to have a look at the lacrimal apparatus. The lacrimal glands sit on the superior lateral margin of the eye and are comprised of two parts, an orbital part and a palpable part. The lacrimal gland secretes fluid which passes across the eye into the lacrimal papilla. The lacrimal puncture of papilla are very small holes found at the inner corner of the eyelids and you should be able to see these on yourselves just around about where that dot is there. From here the tears pass through the canniculi and into the lacrimal sac. The lacrimal sac continues it to narrow just down here is this part which is then referred to as the nasolacrimal duct and the nasolacrimal duct opens into just the superior part on the undersurface of the inferior concha and this is why when you cry um, you therefore have a runny nose and a certain amount of tears if there's too many tears they can't go through the small structures of the lacrimal um, puncture so they overspill over the lower eyelid onto the face. We are now going to have a look at the nerve supply to the lacrimal gland. The lacrimal gland receives both parasympathetic and sympathetic supply and we're going to follow and trace this back. The nerve that reaches the lacrimal gland it's easy to remember because it's called the lacrimal nerve. And the lacrimal nerve is a branch of the trigeminal nerve and its first branch, the ophthalmic nerve. But the fibres, the parasympathetic and sympathetic fibres, don't come from the trigeminal nerve. Instead, these fibres come from the parasympathetic, the parasympathetic is coming from the facial nerve and the sympathetic is coming from fibres that are wrapping around the internal carotid artery and they take quite a tortuous route to get up to join the lacrimal nerve. The parasympathetic supply fibres originate as part of the facial nerve, the seventh cranial nerve. The seventh cranial nerve travels through the internal acoustic meatus And other fibres relating to the facial nerve um, carry on down through the facial canal. The parasympathetic fibres head off in a different direction. These fibres travel with the greater petrosal nerve. We are going to halt the parasympathetic supply just there for a minute and turn our attention to the sympathetics. We have the internal carotid artery coming up through like this and surrounding the internal carotid artery are the sympathetic fibres very much in a crisscross type pattern. Both sets of fibres join to form the nerve of a pterygoid canal here they then join with fibres from the maxillary nerve the second branch of the trigeminal nerve it's got two little twos like that I'm going to draw the branches of V2 in a slightly different colour so you can see where the nerves are hitchhiking so branches of the maxillary nerve are coming down down like this with one of the branches being called the zygomatic nerve and the parasympathetic and sympathetic fibres join up with these and hitchhike their way all the way up 
to the lacrimal nerve to then come in and supply the lacrimal gland. And now you have understood the lacrimal apparatus and the nerve supply to the lacrimal gland.